apples are just kind of and that coupled with being overweight just results in me having a like lava lamp blob for a body that I try to dress. I grew up being told that my apple shaped body was a very dangerous shape to have, that I was more prone to getting diabetes, and that it was just a difficult shape to live with. It's true, but being prone to diabetes is already something that's in my family that just requires weight control and everything, which is something I am constantly and passionately working on since I was a kid. That aside, I don't agree that it's necessarily a bad shape to have. Are you done? I don't necessarily think that it's a bad shape to have. I don't think any shape is bad to have, and I don't mean to turn this into a PSA of be proud of your shape, but I just know that it doesn't have to be this lava lamp blob sitting on two legs. I have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that I constantly repeat. I have a very limited budget when it comes to clothes, and so I like to buy things that I know that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. So I used to watch a lot of what not to wear as a kid, and I always really liked Stacey and Clinton's cost per wear formula that they would show on their show. But when you're buying a piece of clothing, you have to kind of do the math of, all right, if this piece costs X amount of dollars, how much wear will I get out of it? How much will that cost per day? So I kind of grew up with this. I, for the past like 10 years that I've been building my own personal wardrobe and figuring out my style which I still don't know what the hell it is but that doesn't always apply in life for example in this video I included a pair of black jeans that I bought at Forever 21 for like $17 and I've worn that well over 17 times well past a dollar a day of what I spent on them because they're just a pair of high-rise black pants that go with basically all of the tops of my wardrobe. They look great with flats, they're skinny enough to fit into boots, just amazing. And I spent like nothing on them, and I think I even picked them up on a whim, like, I don't own any black jeans, let's add these to my closet, and it's been like the best purchase ever, the most basic thing. So that's what I'm going to show today, pieces that I get a lot of wear out of, that make me feel good, despite having this curse of an apple-shaped body. So enjoy!